loves! Welcome back to another video. So this video is um, a comparison between the Ben Nye Banana Powder, the ever so popular notorious banana powder, and the Ben Nye um, Camel Powder. So I don't know if a lot of you do know this, so I'm just going to reach over. Um, there are different types. The banana powder is just a specific color in the frame of um, the luxury powders that they have. So when I had originally got into setting my face, I had been buying the Banana Luxury Powder. This was a couple of years ago. Um, it looked good, but it looked a little bit much. The time that I bought it, it was summertime and it just did not work with my skin tone. It was just not happening at all. And um, I just realized perhaps it's best that I find another powder. So I couldn't find anything over the counter that I really liked. So I went ahead and got the Ben Nye Camel. At the time there were a lot of reviews of like the Topaz I believe it is. Um, other types of like browns, like light browns. Um, and I don't believe there it was there when I went to go find it. I think or I, when I compared it, Camel looked a lot more appropriate for my skin color. Um, Camel has done me wonders. Camel has done me good over the years. Literally, it's such a small container, but it goes a long while. Um, I honestly like it. You'll see in my comparison video after the difference. Um, I did do my face half and half. So the one side is the Ben Nye Banana Powder, the other side is the Ben uh, Nye Camel Powder. And the Camel Powder, I just believe, is more of a warmer skin tone color. Like, I'm um, not saying it's more appropriate for darker skin tones. Like, Banana Powder looks great on people. It just depends on how you work it. And I just don't have the time. Not the patience to be working in any type of powder. I just wanted to work with my face and get in and out of the door, you know? Um, so the camel powder just looked absolutely amazing. However, my sister does do a great job with her face and setting it with the banana powder. Um, a lot of people had asked me about what I set my face with, so I just thought it was appropriate to kind of do a video. And you guys always do see my um, what I do when I do my makeup, but I never go in depth as to why I had been using the Ben Nye but um, camel powder. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much most of the details. I haven't, like I said, these powders go a long way, like a little goes a long way. So I haven't purchased anything in a while off Ben Nye, so I'm not sure how much they retail for now. I'll definitely go check a link online and leave it in the description box and kind of let you guys know. Um, but for a setting powder, love it, love it. I know there are great ones that are retailing right now in store, but for, Considering that Ben Nye does cater towards um, like theatrical makeup and whatnot, like it's great. Obviously, it's great quality, great coverage. It really sets in your skin and it stays all day for both of the powders. Just it doesn't matter what color. They do just it works wonders. It really does. And it they, they weren't that much. Like they're pretty decent from what I remember. I feel like if I if, I remember it being a lot of money, I would have felt it and I would have looked at it a lot and been like, that cost quite a bit, I would have remembered. As you can see, the banana powder is a lot of a lighter finish and the camel is more um, of a brownish, not brownish, but it has more, it's like more of a warm finish, it's more of a cold finish, that's like the most appropriate way that I can say it. Um, they do both look absolutely amazing, um, but back when I used to use the Ben Nye a lot, it was like summertime and I was getting darker and it just looked crazy on my skin. Um, now that it's winter and my face is really lightened a bit, sorry, sometimes these little sad ones, I take a little bit of extra elbow grease work, um, but yeah, basically, like um, you can see, obviously I'm not done, <laughs> but this is just a lot of a warmer tone. So I do prefer the Ben Nye Camel um, to the Banana Powder in general. Um, I just got used to like, I like a, look, a little bit of a warmer tone, a little bit more of a warmer glow. This one, versus this one, definitely for my own personal preference, I would go with the Camel Powder for my face and how I like it. I like to have more of a warmer 
to be faced. Some people like more of a cool tone, cool colors. Like, you know me, I love my gold. You know, I love my complimentary colors, my glow, my do, my art, my art, my art thing. So with that being said, I like my face to have more of a warmer tone. However, for some people, like my sister, and it looks great on her, she likes more of um, cooler toned, um, even when it comes to makeup and um, eye colors and such, then this sets your face a lot cooler, a little bit more calmer, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that pretty much sums up my little vid on info about, um, you know, my two powders. Hope you guys love this video. I thought it was pretty informative. It's so long overdue. I've had both these powders for a long time. It just hit me the other day. Like people always ask me about setting powders, and like I've had these and I'm sitting on them. I'm sitting on this knowledge. Let me share it for the world. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll check you guys out in another video. Stay tuned for a lot more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.